For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The South African Federation of Trade Unions, or SAFTU, led a protest march to the parliament on February 23rd as Finance Minister Enoch Gotangwana delivered the 2022 budget speech. SAFTU is opposing the neoliberal reforms in South Africa that are being carried out at the behest of the IMF and World Bank. The IMF and the World Bank have lent $5 billion over the last 18 months to South Africa. In accordance with the conditions of these loans, President Cyril Ramaphosa's government has imposed budget cuts across nearly all government departments responsible for the provision of social services. According to SAFTU, the proposed budget for 2022-24 includes a 12.6% real decline for basic education. For health, the projected real decline is 15.1%. The decline in allocations for social development would be 23.8%. These cuts come despite anticipated increases in population and poverty. 303 billion rand were cut from the public sector wage bill between 2021 and 2022. This will cause major job cuts across sectors including education and health. Protesters called for a rejection of these budget cuts. They addressed slogans to the president saying, Cyril, you were not voted by the IMF and World Bank. Stop serving them. SAFTU declared in its statement, President Ramaphosa must bring concrete changes, starting with clear instructions to his finance minister to reverse the austerity cuts, which hinder government from providing social services and social security, and which have made basic survival impossible for so many. SAFTU has demanded the introduction of a monthly universal basic income grant of 1,500 rand for all unemployed and lowest paid persons. Demands also include housing and sanitation for people living in informal settlements and infrastructure in rural areas. The government must also implement a public works program, a job guarantee scheme and sufficient budgeting for public sector wages. SAFTU also demanded a solidarity of wealth tax. Other issues include a reversal of budget cuts and privatisation and the nationalisation of key sectors. The organisation also delivered a memorandum during Wednesday's March to Parliament.